In this demonstration, we're going to convert a fully provisioned virtual volume and a thinly provisioned virtual volume to a thin dedupe virtual volume within the same CPG, and then we'll convert them right back from TDBB back to their original states. So I, I'm just using the default CPG for the SSD tier that came on the platform, which is um, SSD R5. So let's show the two VVs that are in that CPG. So here's my two CPGs. One's fully provisioned, one's thinly provisioned. And now I want to convert these. And again, I'm going to put them in the exact same CPG. Now this is a feature of dynamic optimization, also referred to as DO. So you have to be licensed for that. But we're going to use the tune VV command and then just pick the target CPG. In this case, it's going to be the same thing. And then uh, whatever I'm going to convert it to, so TDVV and then the volume name, which is uh, 3PJ, BB, FP, BB. Right, and then that'll say, do you want to actually do it? Yes. Okay, and we'll do the same thing for the TPBV. Yes. Okay. Looks like both of those were started. Let's do a show task. Okay, we can see that these two conversions are active. One's uh, on the fully provisioned virtual volume and then one's on the thinly provisioned virtual volume. Shouldn't take too long, there's no data in there. Now you can also tune them into another CPG if you wanted, like if you didn't want this RAID 5 and you wanted to tune it and convert it from thinly provisioned to a um, uh, dedupe, maybe we'll try that next. I'll, when I go to convert them back, I'll put one in a different CPG so it'll take on a different RAID characteristic. Okay, so those finished. Now if we do a show VV CPG SSD R5. We'll see that these two volumes are now TDVVs. And obviously there's no there's no data in there, so it's not, not going to dedupe anything, but I'm just showing that I can convert them. All right, so now we're going to convert them back. We're going to start with um, uh, the TPVV, and we're just going to put that back to a TPVV. Alright, and then for the fully provisioned virtual volume, we're going to um, we're going to put this in the RAID 1 CPG. Okay, so show task. Alright, so converting the dedupe to the thin do virtual volume already finished. And we can show that one. Do a show VV CPG SSD RAID 5. Oops. Without the W. There we go. So the TPVV is back to a TPVV. And it looks like the fully provisioned virtual volume has finished. So let's do a show VV CPG SSD RAID 1. And there's our fully provisioned volume. So it not only converted from TDVV to a fully provisioned volume, but we also moved it into the RAID 1 CPG, so now it takes on the RAID 1 CPG characteristics. Pretty easy. Thanks a lot.